Hello guys. So in this video, we will go through what is parcel fabric and what it's used for. So basically parcel fabric is a way to create parcels that is connected to each other. Like for example, creating data for residential area where you want the parcels of the houses to be connected to each other and organized in a way looks like how it looks on the map right now. So when we create a new parcel fabric feature class on our catalog, it contains control points like the one on the left side here, uh, line points, points, lines that have different templates and parcels. So once you create one parcel fabric, it contains all of this data within it. So when you create your own parcel fabric, it looks something like this at the end. So let's go to our catalog and see how can we create that. So in our advanced folder, you will see a folder called parcel fabric. It have parcel editing MXD and uh, parcel fabric geo database. And this is the one that we are showing right here. This is MXD parcel editing. And this is the fabric feature class inside of parcel fabric geo database. But let's see how can we create a new one. Uh, let's create a new geo, geo database first file J database and let's call it my parcel fabric inside of it we will create a new data set we will call it my data set and we will give it a projected coordinate system WGS 1984 world mercator next next finish and inside the data set, we will right click and say new, and you will see the option here to create a parcel fabric. So when I create a new parcel fabric, I'll call it my parcel fabric. I'll say next. I'll leave everything the default. Next, finish. And when you see your parcel fabric created, when you go inside of it, you will see the control points, the line points, the parcels, the plans, and all the layers that you see right here. And when you add it to ArcMap, you right click on the frame, you add data, and you go to the new parcel fabric you created, you open the data set, and if you double click here, you will see that you can see all the layers inside the parcel fabric, but we will go up and select this one and add. So it can add all of it. So as you can see here, I have another parcel fabric that is new. I didn't add any data to it right here looks exactly like the one we have in front of us. So there is so many tools and different ways to create your parcel fabric, but I'm going to show you just a quick way to edit your parcel fabric and how can you do that. So let's remove uh, the one we just created right now and we will focus on this one we have in front of us. So let's give a scenario right now that we have a new survey have been done on one of the parcels on this parcel fabric and we need to update our data based on the new survey. Let's say, for example, we have a new survey for parcel number 97 right here. And this new survey have some new points. Let's say, for example, this exact parcel have been changed and we need to change uh, the position for this parcel. So the first thing we have to do is to create a new plan for this parcel. So all the changes on this parcel fabric have plans because this survey could be done over a period of like a year or 10 years. So let's say we have we created this parcel fabric originally five years ago. Right now we have a new survey and every few months we do a new survey for new parcels. So we need to, to differentiate between this different data by creating a plan for the parcel fabric. The way to do that is you need to have your parcel editor toolbar enabled and if you can't see it you can enable it from here and you come here on the parcel editor and you say I want to start edit this parcel fabric and when you start edit this parcel fabric you can go back here and choose the plan directory and as you see here you have all the plans that have been created on this parcel fabric by the date and the information and who done the survey and some description for each plan and if you can't see the plans, make sure that you select here uh, all, list all plans. And now we want to create a new plan. So let's create a new plan and we will name it ArcGIS Mastery Plan. And here we will keep everything default for now. We're just going to come to the attributes and say the survey was me, for example. The company is AGM. 
survey date today date any date you want today date is October 10th 2020 legal date maybe this plan need to be approved on a certain day so we can say it's gonna be approved today as well and here we can choose the accuracy for this new plan and it have to match the previous plans so we will choose number three because this is the one that match the current plans and we will click OK now we will close our our plan here and we make sure that we save our edits so now after we created our plan we need to do one more thing before we start editing you need to come to the parcels right here and right click and go to edit features and create organize feature templates and here we are going to create a new template for the new parcels we add to this map so here I'll choose the parcels I'll say create a new template I'll choose parcels here again I'll say OK finish now I have two parcels I will select the second one the one I just created I'll right click and say properties I'll change the name for it for AGM parcels I'll change the name for it for AGM parcels and here the type I will enter 24 and accuracy we need to match the accuracy to number 3 the one we chose earlier and plan name we will choose plan name to be AGM plan and we will click OK now we have a new template for uh, the new parcels we will draw now let's close this one and we come here and say save edits so we know that our edits is there so the next thing we will do because we want to replace or update parcel number 97 we will click on 97 this current one and we will right click on it and we will say unjoin unjoin will remove this parcel from our fabric it didn't delete it but it just unjoined it from the current fabric and you can see it here on the left side in the parcel explorer window and if you cannot see this window you can open it from uh, right here this icon right here now we have uh, our parcel number 97 show in the unjoined parcels and if you want to delete it you can right click here and delete if you want to rejoin it you can rejoin it but now we're trying to create a new parcel to replace this one so what we will do we will go to parcel editor we will go to plan directory and we will go all down to our plan that we created we right click on ArcGIS mastery plan and we say I want to create a new parcel and as you see here right now I have another window called parcel details that opened on the bottom here it might open on the left side so you can put it anywhere you want but I usually put it on the bottom of the map so here we make sure that we have our ArcGIS plan selected here and we have the template selected here and as we know we want to replace uh, parcel number 97 we will come here and change the new parcel name to be 97 as well and we will just click on the map anywhere on the map it doesn't matter right now so let's click here let's spin a little bit here so once we have our first click you will see that a new record here been created and this record will help you create the lines uh, for the parcel without actually drawing it so you make sure that it matches the survey you have and in order for us to enter this data right here uh, we need to have the survey information that the surveyor who was in the field collecting this data have so we have a file here into the course data folder in the parcel fabric folder called survey points dot text let's open it and as you see here from this survey data we collected is that we have four point to create our new parcel and we have the template option we have the bearing option and we have the distance between each point so let's go back here and see what data we need to enter we need to set the template you need to expand this column here and you have the first line here to be type of frontage and that will create the line the first line to be the front of the parcel so the second data we need to enter is the bearing so you can just come here copy the bearing and that's define the angle for the line and here the distance will be 69 and we enter once we you press enter on the keyboard you will see that the line is created automatically without without us trying to create the second point on the map so we will do the same thing here but we will change the template to be boundary line and we will copy the bearing for the second line and the distance is 114 so here's a second bearing 
114 press enter let's create the third one also it's a boundary and 69 distance press enter the last line will be boundary and distance 114 and for the last entry you have make sure that you add asterisk at the end of the distance so when you press enter in the keyboard it will close the parcel for us so as you see now we have a parcel been created for us but it's still not connected or joined to the other parcels as a one fabric and I cannot change it right now the way to make a join is to come here and say keep and join keep and join will save this new parcel uh, to the fabric but it's not gonna connect it yet so when we click here you will see now that we have the parcel on our map and it give us here the option or the join wizard to join this parcel and the way to join the parcel is to choose this icon here to connect the points from your new parcel to the existing fabric so as we know here we need to connect this one to this one and this one to this one and this point to this one and this one to this one now I have my four uh, points of connection created I will just come here and say join and as you see here we have the new parcel created in the joined parcels and the old one still unjoined so we can delete it right now if we want and the last thing I will show you is that you can come here and select uh, one parcel for and you say transform parcels and transform parcels will allow you to move a parcel scale the parcel make it bigger or smaller so let's say for example I want to move this parcel from here to here and once you finish that you just say commit transformation and it will automatically connect everything else for you so let's try something else let's say scale parcel scale parcel will make you make it bigger or smaller so if I want to make my parcel smaller I can do that and then here I can say commit transformation and it will connect everything for you and also you can rotate it like that and say commit it will rotate it and you can say I want to actually control and change single points inside this parcel by holding one point and connect it like that and this one like this and now when I say commit it will change everything for this parcel and make all the other uh, parcels connect to it automatically so that was a quick overview of what you can do with uh, parcel fabric and what is parcel fabric how can you create it and how can you edit it there's so many things here that you can uh, play with and try to figure out what it does and I totally encourage you that if you planning to work in data entry uh, try to know more about parcel editor uh, play with it more and try to use all the tools that you have available for you right here and that's it for parcel editing and i will see you in the next video thanks